So this is just, these are warning signs that you might have that nomophobia. 2017, AAA did a study. They said one in three people admitted that they do this regularly or fairly often in their car. This is a study that we are uh, hoping that people are going to be honest. Okay? But I think if you have nomophobia, you're probably using your, your phone in your car too, right? Regularly or fairly often. So I think the numbers are much higher than people want to admit. This one's scary. At any given daylight moment across the United States, over 660,000 people are manipulating a cell phone as you're driving down the road. That's 10% of the motoring public. So if there's 10 cars around you, one of those persons would be on the cell phone, at least. Right, in some cases probably even more than that. 2015, 391,000 injuries. 2016, 3,400 deaths. More people die every year from distracted driving than died in 9-11. We just remember 9-11 a few weeks ago. A tragic event in US history, yet we lose more people every year to distracted driving. And nobody talks about it, nobody remembers it, right? Three types of distraction. Visual distraction, that's been around since we were young and, and driving before we had cell phones. Uh, taking your eyes off the road for anything. Looking at the street, looking at the sunset, looking at somebody on the sidewalk. The manual distraction, you reaching for an object. For me, when I was in high school, or after I graduated high school, I was reaching for a cassette tape. Anybody here reach, reaching for an eight track? There you go, I got one back there. Uh, somebody told me that there was actually a four track before the eight track. That was even bigger than the eight track, I'm trying to remember that. Some of you maybe were dealing with CDs. Right now, there's none of those things. It's all Bluetooth. They're reaching into the cloud for air or wherever, right? Mm -hmm. Last but not least, we have the cognitive distraction. That is your brain, your mind on something else other than the driving. Okay? Texting involves all three of these. So your eyes, your hand, and your mind off the road to send a text message. Multitasking. So, uh, Petting a dog and, and uh, talking on the phone. One is a thinking task, the other is not. Petting a dog is a non-thinking task. You can do this without having to think about it. Uh, but talking to somebody on the phone, you're actually having a conversation with that person. You, you're thinking about that conversation. You can do that, no problem. That's not multitasking, because there's not two thinking tasks. But now we have two thinking tasks. Reading a book and talking to somebody on the phone. Has anybody tried that? Reading something in front of them and talking to somebody, you're either missing the conversation or you're missing half of what you're reading. You can't do it, right? Your brain can't do that. Have you ever tried to eavesdrop on someone else's conversation when you're talking on the phone too? You can hear somebody else talking, same thing. You're not hearing what they're saying in your ear. All you're hearing is uh, their conversation. Driving a car and, and talking to somebody on the phone are both thinking tasks. And this is where it becomes risky. You actually increase the likelihood of being in a crash just talking on your phone. Legally talking on your phone. You're more likely to crash. We'll talk about those numbers in a second. So the cognitive distraction or multitasking is performing two thinking tasks. The brain switches quickly uh, back and forth between the two. Attention to driving becomes secondary. So what happens is your conversation goes to the front of your brain and driving goes to the back of the brain. <laughs> Drivers on cell phones look, but they fail to see. They miss up to 50% of their surroundings. Uh, inattention blindness, or what we call tunnel vision. You might have heard of tunnel vision, that's when your brain or your phone. <laughs>